He's right, you know. I am handsome. He needs me, you know. It happened again last night. He starts tossing and turning, some kind of weird dream. So I come up from downstairs, where I usually hang out at night, and nuzzle him till he wakes up. He always seems surprised to see me and wonders why I'm there. Then he gives me a hug and settles back to sleep. More hunting. I would never admit this to anyone else, but you know what? I like turtles. Yep, they hide in the moist leaves of the woods. I hunt them, sniff them out, and bring them home to Dad. I'm very gentle with them. Dad says it's really cute how I put the whole shell in my mouth and carry it home. Then I put it down by the back door. Dad usually has to turn it right side up. I leave it alone for a while, and eventually it comes out and wanders back into the woods. But then I track it down and bring it home again. It's a great game. So, Dad got some new lights or curtains or something for his photography. And you know what that means? Yup. Hey, Nick, let's take some pics of you in the studio. Come on, it'll be fun. It won't take long. So, how do you think that turned out? I must say, I really tried to do what he wanted. I mean, really. And I kept turning to look at him, talk about being attentive. I mean, I tried. I really, really tried. He says this one is really cool. Not what he was trying for, but still really cool. Here are some of my outtakes. Yep, that's him there in the middle. See how he likes it. So we tried the formal picture stuff again out at Turtle Island. This time I sat just like he wanted and he got his portrait. Jeez, finally. It was a nice walk though. I really wanted to play with that rabbit. Ah, nothing beats cool, damp sand at Smith Mountain Lake State Park on a hot day. SLO, Canine Symmetrical Lupoid Oncodostrophy. I lost 11 nails over 6 months, and each one was very painful. The doctor pulled the first ones. He had to knock me out, which I don't like at all. So then I learned to bite them off myself. It took a few days per nail once the nail became loose, but I kept working at it because it didn't hurt as much once it was off. Had to take lots of pills every day, too. Tetracycline, niacinamide, vitamin E, derm caps, two or three times a day. My big yellow chicky. Enough said about that. Let's talk about dinner time. You know, dinner time is very special. I lie on the floor right beside Dad and let him eat, undisturbed. I can always tell when he's done. Then I sit up and look very attentive while he prepares a plate for me. If I'm lucky, he'll put a little taste of everything on it. It's great. I need to be careful, though. Sometimes I get impatient and want a better smell. And the nose goes, well, where noses know they shouldn't go. When he sees me, he says, watch that nose. He moves his hand down and I have to jump back quick. He says dogs have lost noses by not being quick enough. You think I really could lose my nose just because dinner smells so good? I really do love the snow. This is a new floor I helped Dad with. You can't quite see it in this shot, but my cozy warm is in the corner by the glass doors. It's become my favorite spot in the whole house because it's always cozy and warm. And I can keep an eye on the outside, too. Funny to think I didn't like it at first. Dad had to try all sorts of things just to get me on it. 
Now I use it even in the summer. It keeps the house fairly cool, so it feels really good to curl up on it any time. Nope, just couldn't stay out of the concrete he was using to level that new floor. The Art of Begging I think I mentioned I can count. It's part of successful begging. One of our rules is I get two bites of any treat he is eating. I sit and watch him very politely. Eventually I get a piece. After I get the next piece, and without him telling me, I leave him alone, stop begging and go about my business. It keeps him coming back with more. I don't feel like running so much anymore, just hanging out in the field watching the neighborhood youngster. Now that boy has a lot of energy. Dad was in the mood to take a lot of pics today. It's okay with me, I'm just hanging out. Finally feeling better after last week's visit to the University Veterinary Hospital. He tells me I'm going back tomorrow. Back to the hospital for more tests and surgery. 12.45 p.m. call from the doctor. Surgery went better than expected. We were able to remove 99% of the mass. Nick did great during surgery. He's up now, alert, and watching what's going on. As long as the bleeding remains under control, I would expect him to go home tomorrow afternoon. 10.25 p.m. call from the doctor. I don't know how it could have happened, Mr. Johnson. Nick was fine a half hour ago during the last rounds. All his vital signs were good. Mr. Johnson, Nick has died. Dad reads a lot into this photo. I had a lot of good times in that field at the end of the path. Heck, look at the book. That's where all this picture-taking stuff began. So I spent a lot of time in that field, especially lately when I wasn't feeling so good. I could keep my eye on everything from there. It was a good place. I used to just run, full speed, back and forth. He says the field is magical, and the path I'm walking on leads me back to it, and it's all okay now. Guess maybe I'll head out that way. <laughs>